Hey folks, it's Duke here at Holiday World of Katy out here in Katy, Texas. That is a Springdale travel trailer. And we got a whole bunch of these in stock. Let me let you take a look at some of them. There are some Springdale travel trailers. And there's some more. We got a ton of them. We got tons of them, literally. If you weigh them, there I don't know how many tons. But uh, I want to tell you some of the features on these travel trailers and then show you a few of the floor plan. I don't think one thing you can see on each one of them they have this uh the air 360 the wine guard system which has a uh that was a wasp or something uh that's for digital tv and wi-fi they all have a 200 watt solar panel right there on the roof that's part of the solar flex 200 system that's a standard feature on all of these uh, so the solar flex 200 includes a solar charge controller and it also allows it's wired if you want to add an additional solar panel on the roof. Another thing they do with solar, it's wired for, it's got a ZAMP, a plug for a ZAMP solar. What that would be would be a suitcase solar that you would plug in right here, a little auxiliary solar panel that if you're in the shade, you can, say you're parked in the shade, you're not in the sun, you can point the uh, suitcase solar panel towards the sun you can put it out in the sun and it, it's a great way to augment this system so they all have that they're all going to have an awning they're all going to have a solid step they all have a three-year structural warranty they've all got a single piece floor without any it's no four by eights no tongue and groove uh, the wood in these is made out it's spruce most of these type of travel trailers they use pine uh, there's there's a reason it's got an 18 year warranty on the roof it's got a frame. Each one of these, the frame is designed specifically for the floor plan. So this is a 1750 RD, and the frame was designed by Keystone Engineers, and it was built right down the street from the Keystone factory. They subcontract that out, but they put the cross members and uh, all the holding tanks are balanced. Um, by the way, the holding tanks on these all have a... Uh, uh, they're rotocast single piece so i'm just kind of going into some of the features on these uh, overall i'll show you a few of the floor plans this is a nice floor plan right here this has a rear uh dining area it's got a u-shaped dinette and a huge window so this is a nice one just send me a text if you have a question about any of these this is a smaller one it's a 17 17 foot coach it's a little bit longer it's a 1750 rd it's got a bed, there's a bathroom. I'm not gonna show you all that stuff, but uh, just wanted to give you a little bit overview on these Keystone Springdales. Here it is right here. This is the uh, company that built the frame. They're building them right there up there in Elkhart, Indiana, right down the street from the Keystone factory. So all our rigs are gonna come with propane the smaller ones will have one tank. They're going to come with the battery. The bigger ones are going to have two tanks. Uh, so they're 20 pound tanks. That's standard. The spare tire standard. Most of these have a walkable roof. You see that solar panel up there on the roof. But I just wanted to invite you to come out, take a look at these. Uh, the traditional construction is a, uh, it's how they've been building RVs for a long time. There's some people will tell you that, uh, the fiberglass is better. That's just simply not true. It's just different. The way they build these, uh, it's kind of like they build a house, except instead of using pine studs, they use spruce. Uh, it's got a, a roof with the 18 year guarantee, but you've got to just maintain the seals on that. Uh, this particular one has a radius roof. It's got a uh, arch to it, which is a nice feature. This is a bunkhouse model. It's got corner bunks that are uh, all these that have corner bunks like this, that's 72 inches, that's six foot two, they're wide. They've got wide bunks, they'll have a puck light up there, USB connections in the bunks. This one has a rear bath right here and a huge pantry. So there's a wide variety of floor plans in this Springdale lineup. This one's even got a fireplace. It's a 50 amp unit. It's got a 12 volt fridge. But if you tell me what you're looking for, I will make a video of the Springdales I think match the best. I'll let you choose from those. This one even has a laundry hamper. My name is Duke, I'm your video host, and uh, just kind of making an overview video today, so thanks for coming along.
this particular model is the uh, 282 bunkhouse it's got a jackknife sofa a dinette that makes into a bed corner bunks it's got a bathroom back there in the back so I'm going to take a look at a few of these floor plans it's got a fireplace and a place for a TV and then the bedroom is up in the front another advantage to this uh, aluminum siding over fiberglass is that it seems to hold up to the weather better it's not going to ever delaminate uh, that's something you'd be familiar with on fiberglass siding if you had that something that can happen here's another one this is called the 303 BH it's another bunkhouse model we'll take a quick peek at it and see very similar floor plan but this one has a bunk room so if you want a bunk room it's got a huge bunk up there that place for a TV it's got these two the sofa area each one of those uh, folds out into a twin size bed and then this this bunk up here you can fold it up out of the way if your kids or anybody sitting down in here watching TV playing guitar practicing violin whatever it is you want to do got to keep up with your tuba lessons so it has the TV in the fireplace 12 volt fridge and they all have the solar panel on the roof I think I mentioned that there's the laundry chute so the bedroom is similar you have a wardrobe on each side so th this is a bigger one it's got two doors on the outside it's a double axle it's got an inverted outlet right here this one has an outdoor kitchen I'll go ahead and let's see if it's open we'll take a look at it this is not a highly produce video right here so this one has a uh, nice uh, cooktop right here you can do some cook some breakfast in the morning Your favorite chili recipe there's a fridge look at this nice hardware it's got even in the outdoor kitchen place to store some stuff there so you've got a USB port right there if you want to charge your phone while you're sitting out here underneath the awning sometimes it's a little too windy for an awning so you can use this thing right here for shade just put your chair right there I like to put a 19 inch fan outside if it's hot or warm it keeps the bugs away and uh, keeps it cooler so I, I carry that along when we're camping or RV it's not really camping you've got everything that you have at home that's another 282 so just uh, enjoying this beautiful weather I'm using this making this video as an excuse to be out here today it's just so nice look at that blue skies man this is perfect riding around in a golf cart and weather like this you feel like a millionaire you know how they uh rich people live I'm not going to get into my finances okay so this is a uh 262 bh this one doesn't have a slide there there's some advantages to that so if you're looking for something you could pull with a half ton truck comfortably sometimes if you don't have a slide you give up the slide here's the specs on it this one weighs uh, 5,200 pounds. That slide is going to probably be another 700 pounds or so. So it saves you a lot of weight, makes it easier to tow. Uh, Long-term maintenance is going to be better. So here's the star of the show in this one. Look at this. I'm going to sit in this jackknife sofa. That's not the star, but it's a great thing. But look at that window. That's on the campsite. When you're sitting at that dinette, and you look at this huge panoramic view of wherever you are in the great outdoors in America or Canada you can go to Canada if you want to go down to Mexico that's fine but wherever you are in the mountains by the lake in the woods out in the desert looking at cactus over there the superstition mountains near Phoenix or up there in the Poconos down there in Florida in the panhandle up in the woods this is a nice rig right here, and it's got those corner bunks. They're six foot, accommodate somebody six feet two, uh, or you know, if you hang your feet over, even taller. But it's it, it, you're not cramped in. It's got this radius roof. You've got a window there, a USB port. This is a nice rig right here, folks. Got a comfortable bathroom with plenty of room in it. It's got skylights in there. Nice kitchen. And this is a jackknife sofa. So this one you could sleep. Adults one two. A child here three four five six people comfortably if you've got kids these bunks are wide enough for a couple of small kids four and five year olds you can put two of them on each one of those bunks 
uh, six, seven year olds, you'll be okay. So, uh, gonna keep moving along, having a good time today. Thanks for tagging along. This is what I do for a living. I like to look at RVs. I occasionally talk to somebody and get them signed up. That's kind of the program. Here's the, uh, this one has the power stabilizer jacks right there will stabilize it some of them have manual ones you can just use a three-quarter inch socket on a cordless screwdriver so that's no big deal so I'm gonna take a look at some of these other floor plans over here before we end this video see what we've got over here yeah, this is, we got a lot of RVs over here at Holiday World of Katy so I'm gonna take a look at this 1800 BH it's a so the coach is about 18 feet long so the nice thing about this little rig right here it's got all the same construction features you would find on any Springdale, and many of those are the same ones you find in our highest priced uh, RVs like the Montana or the Cougar, very well established brands. This Springdale's been around for a long time. See that solar panel up there, the big AC on the roof, you can see those uh, LED lights. I don't know if you can see they're on right now, We're running on solar power. This is a single axle. You just want to have good tires on your single axle. This one does not have a slide out. This is a functional camper. See these lights are on? We haven't put a battery in this one yet. We will. So this has the... These bunks, again, are 74 inches, 6 feet 2. They're not quite as wide as the other bunks, but uh, people could fit in there. You want camping, RVing, in the air conditioning, heating. It's dry. And uh, you're going to want to get up. You spend most of your time when you're out enjoying the rv lifestyle you're gonna spend it right outside the door in these chairs out here kids will be running around you'll be looking at what's going on that's your front porch back porch this one's got a nice bed in here here is a wardrobe this has a dinette right here and here is the galley or the kitchen area as we call it oh this one's got a red microwave if you're hip enough this one could be your rv this is for somebody that's hip enough for a red microwave oven. It's not for everybody. You may need a standard microwave color. We can accommodate you. So you're not that colorful. All right. I have to work on that material there. So this is the uh, 1800BH. It's another Springdale. You see, it's still got the Zamp Solar connection still got the solar suitcase it still has the three-year structural warranty still has this uh, thicker gauge aluminum siding that is a uh, it's gonna hold up over time it's, they've been building trailers like this since uh, Lucy and Ricky were out uh, going into their RV trips going back to the old school all right here's the 1750 RD that's a rear den area let me see if I can open this door Ah, this one's locked i don't feel like fooling with it all hold on one second i'm gonna i'm gonna open that sorry about the camera work so here we go sorry about that a little real world stuff still we got the solid step we got the awning the led lights so what's different about this one there it is wow you're sitting back here on this u-shaped dinette that makes into a large bed and you get up in the morning you're surrounded by windows enjoying rv luxury in america that's where you put the microwave there if you want or you can just use that for cubby storage not everybody wants a microwave there's some storage there uh, this little pantry space right there so you've got a a bed over here, a place to put your clothes. Oh, here's the microwave oven. It's where we keep them right here in Texas. And yeah, this one's in the. Your, this one does have a microwave, it just hasn't been installed yet. It's in the shower, just like on the Beverly Hillbillies. They wouldn't know where to put a microwave oven either. No, we know where to put it. We're just joking around here. It's got the Dometic fridge. These are all 12 volt fridges. So you can put additional solar, but if you're driving down the road, uh, that solar panel is going to help your batteries from uh, it'll keep up with your fridge. You've got a trickle charge coming from your truck. What most people don't tell you is they'll say, oh, as you're driving along, you're going to be 
trickle charging from your truck. That's not enough to keep up with the fridge, folks. That's what they generally don't tell you. If you take a long enough trip, you'll realize your fridge is not working. Your food is getting warm. That's not what you want with all those groceries you brought. I like to just buy stuff as I go along. That's how we do it. We used to buy a whole bunch of stuff and get ready. I, I enjoy stopping at a grocery store, local stores. Just take whatever we got, wherever we're at in our shopping cycle, we just bring it along. And then we just go shopping like we normally would or pick up a few items depending on what we want. That's what you want to hear about. Look at that. Uh, lots of counter space in this one. So we can find one that fits you. This one has a rear corner bath back here has this fridge up here now this particular fridge right here will run on propane or electric so it's a little different so each model could be a little different this is a uh, dometic it's a two-way 12 volt or propane so you'll be fine this is a boondocking machine here the only thing you would need to really plug it in uh, in reality is if you had to have an ac you could bring a generator but if you were doing some boondocking some dry camping in decent weather now this one has a Murphy bed, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how this one works. See that, that is a very comfortable couch right here. It's got tables on each side with drawers, it's got inverted outlets. Uh, this is not just a, so this just flips over and it's flat. And now we're going to put down the Murphy bed. I think somebody named Murphy invented the Murphy bed. so. Uh, so it was Mr. Murphy, Mrs. Murphy, Ms. Murphy, Mr. or Ms. Murphy. And look at this. This has got a Serta mattress, and it says it in writing. It's always comfortable. It's not just comfortable sometimes. It is always comfortable. That's what you want, right? Well, that's what you're going to get on this one. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm doing this with one hand just to because that's how many hands I have free. But it also shows you how easy it is to convert it back. You get up in the morning, you flip that up, flip this over, boom. You walk in the door during the day, you got a place to sit down, change your shoes. You could throw your shoes down underneath that little cubby hole right there, put on your, your house slippers, and uh, commence to uh, being relaxed here in your luxury RV. This one has a window over here. It's got windows over there. That's really what it comes down to. The, it is a luxury lifestyle to go wherever you want, have your own little place. So this one, uh, any of them, you can pull over on the side of the road, stop, use the restroom, uh, take a break. You can make a cup of tea if you want to with your propane stove. Uh, so and just take a break and enjoy the uh, leisurely RV lifestyle, get somewhere, staying in your own accommodations. You don't have to check with management how much of a deposit they want for your little puppy. Are you, you want to bring your cat? Bring your cat. It's your RV. You can figure it out. You don't need anybody to tell you what's what you can do. This is America. That's why we have RVs. Because we live in America. All right. Got a little sidetracked here. That's another bunkhouse. That's a rd i think we saw that one so hey thanks for tagging along today just kind of out here enjoying this beautiful sunshine looking at these uh springdale travel trailers made by keystone this is they call it the minis uh, but we got them that are big small with bunks without bunks but they're all have that uh keystone quality that's not to say that nothing will ever break. I mean, that's just the way it works. These are made by humans, so we're not wanting to advertise that they will never, ever need service. We have a service department, but wherever you live, you can get them service. You can work on it yourself. You can get uh, somebody to help you with that. But these are very reliable RVs. The Springdales, we don't see as many of them in service as some of the other models. So that's something to keep in mind. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Duke, and here is my contact information. It's right here. That's my phone number. I'll be happy to help you anytime if you have a question. Thank you so much.